Hey guys, so before this video actually starts, I just wanted to tell you guys today will be Hamil week. So throughout this whole week, I am planning to release Hamilton related videos. And I know this video isn't technically fully Hamilton related, since I'm looking at a bunch of theater memes that have to do with different musicals and stuff like that. But again, this video was, well, I, not again, but this video was pre-recorded and this is a part two of the video I made last week because it was too long to put out together. So, this technically has to do with Hamilton a little bit, so it still counts for Hamil Week. And, like, I will be trying to post videos on Tuesday and Thursday also, even though like, I usually post on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And there will be another That's a Fetch episode out this week, with, like, which is probably going to be a Hamilton review. But yeah, all this week, there will be Hamilton-related videos, ending with, um, I guess watching Hamilton since it is coming out on Disney Plus this week, which is the reason for it being Hamil Week. So I just want to let you guys know so you can look out for other Hamilton related videos. And if you want to find the videos easier, look up hashtag Hamil Week. Oh my funny memes I'm gonna show you. Let's go over to my theater memes. Starting from the beginning. Why is you right like you're running out of time? Because this essay is due in six hours and I just started it. I know how you feel, Hamilton. Like, hashtag relatable. Yeah, because, um, I think we've all had that kind of day where it's like, you're writing an essay. The day before it's due. Okay, this one. Uh, I, uh, I have my recorder, and I'm going to play the only song I know how to play in the recorder. Messes up. <laughs> Hello again. I am Lynn Manuel. I play the recorder when I am nervous. <laughs> I think this was like before he was old famous. Maybe, maybe not. And this one. I can live with pride. I can make a strong. I'll be satisfied. When Moana became Eliza. <laughs> oh. When Moana became Angelica. Oh my god, I said Eliza. Oh, these ones. I love these, but it's so hard to say in, like, one take, so I'm going to mess up a lot. So trust me, like, okay. Daddy said to be home by sundown. Our father told us to return by the time the sun has set in the sky. The paternal role model in our lives, Jesus spoke across and my sounds and for us to arrive back at our place of residence before the star because our sun had disappeared over the horizon, signal, sing, signaling nightfall. I almost had it. I just messed up on signaling. Mmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's a different handsome meme? Okay. So, listen. Okay, this one. You read my diary? I didn't realize it was your diary at first. I thought it was a very sad handwritten novel. <laughs> oh, God. But, like, Connor would be writing that. And this one. Pinky boots. Get it? I gotta tell you, life without you has been hard, hard, has been bad, bad, has been rough. Kinky. So, like, that's Jared's most iconic line from the whole two hour musical. So, yeah, that's really saying something. Okay, this one Wolverine is being chased by Gladiator, Calhoun gets knocked up, and for some ungodly reason, goes to see Bellatrix Lestrange from Harry Potter and Borat, and then Wolverine agrees to raise Calhoun's baby, and she grows up to be Star in Mamma Mia. If you don't know what this musical is, then you're a failure. It is Les Mets. Les Miserables. A classic. If you didn't know that from, like, all the obvious clues, like, they literally explain the whole movie to you. It's not that hard. Okay. You, you wouldn't really want to date me. I'm a handful. I have two hands. <laughs> I really like that. That one's funny. It's funny. Wants to marry Anne Boleyn. Acts Pope Clement the Fifth. Pope refuses to annul the mummy. Pope refuses to annul marriage. Pope refuses to annul marriage. Become the Pope equivalent in England. Okay. This one. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> you, you you don't understand me. You don't. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Stop judging me. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it was just there. And so I had to pivot somewhere like this. Okay, so next one. Tell me, tell me this is not true. If you, if you are a theater fan, and maybe I'm a Carly fan, you'll know what I'm talking about. Tell me, tell me you don't see it. Tell me it's not funny. Tell me that this doesn't make you giggle if you are a theater kid. Who has watched Jeremy Hansen. Or seen it, or something like that. Okay, this one. This wasn't really funny, but like, it was just there. Okay, this one. Hey dude, can I borrow a pencil? Sure. Jared in the background. No, this is, this is not Jared anymore. This is Rich. Yay! <laughs> like, okay, if you don't see it, huh, if you don't see it now, tell me. Tell me you don't see it now. Tell me you don't see it now. Like, I'm literally giving you straight up. My hand's doing its own things. It's, it's its own person now, so don't don't blame me. Okay, this <laughs> this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. And look at these two down here, like Ben and then Will. This this is true art. This is beautiful. This is true beauty. Okay. So it says, yeah, I had anxiety. Then I had an icy and old Ben. Then all then every psychological issue I've ever dealt with suddenly was gone. Freeze your brain. Swim in the ice, get lost in the pain. Touch your eyes tight till you vanish from sight. Let nothing remain. I'm sorry. I know. I'm beautiful. Okay. This one. I'm a rocket ship on my way to Mars. And then having second thoughts about pig thoughts. I'll be Potter. If you know Team Star Kid, then you'll then you'll understand. If you don't, then you don't. Long ago lived a fellow who caught your eye, hair that curled in a beautiful fro. Now it's gone and replaced with a suit and a tie, dancing in a variety show. Where did he go? Does he even care at all? Recently he's been acting very queer. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> you gotta love the glee memes. The glee related memes. Like, I I'm a theater fan who loves glee. And Stargate, so this is just like comedy gold for me. Like, where have you been all my life? In a cupboard under some stairs. Like, Darren Chris, before he was in Glee, he was in the Stark musicals, and specifically a Barry Potter musical, which was first Harry Potter the musical, I think. So, like, that was where he was before Glee. This is my favorite one. What do you guys say when you enter the phone? Merce Mercedes. What's up? Um, Artie, who this be? <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> no, she's dead. This is your son. Kurt is a mood. <laughs> okay. This one. Hold on. I'm home alone and my parents forgot to tell me that there are people painting our house, so I've been reenacting Les Mes and just violently threw open the windows to yell cannon. And the poor guy nearly fell off his ladder. You know, this is, like, sad. And this one. I just noticed this while watching Let It Go for the millionth time. Elsa walks toward, walking towards the sunrise, which means the castle is in the west. She built it on a mountain. Elsa can be found in the western sky. Get it? If you don't get it, then you're not a theater fan. Or a Dina fan. <laughs> when theater kids try to do sports. Hi, I'm Kurt Humana. Humana, 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 Humana. Okay. Hi, I'm Kurt Hummel, and I'll be auditioning for the role of the kicker. That was my favorite line. That's one of my favorite lines from Gee. Gee. I can't speak. <laughs> that is one of my favorite lines from Glee. And this is my favorite one. Raise a glass to freedom. It's something they can never take away. No matter what they tell you. Okay, so I'm just going to end it here with this beautiful um, gift I found because it's perfect for Pride Month and stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!